now we're at the day that we're going to edit our work. So we are going to look at one of the last steps. It is the editing step. Yesterday we revised. Today we're going to edit. And this step right here is this step. So we are going to check our writing. You watched that little video, I hope as you were supposed to, that taught you what editing was. That's when we check for grammar, punctuation, spelling, all those little things that make a difference. They make the reader understand what we're writing. So we're going to make sure our name is on the paper. Oh, I bet you haven't even done that yet. Then we're going to make sure that each sentence has end punctuation. That means periods, question marks, exclamation points, and I'm going to walk you through how to do that. Then we're going to make sure that we use commas in a series. We talked about that before we ever started. If you list adjectives, you've got to put commas between them. So if I say the bird was blue, comma, uh, yellow, beaked, comma, and, remember, and goes before the last one, and on my windowsill. That's what you would do. You list the adjectives, and then you put the commas in the place. So we'll cover that. Then compound phrases. We really haven't talked about, but that's any time you use an and. So we got to make sure that we do it correctly. And here's some examples. Here's an example of that commas. My scarf is red, comma orange, comma, and yellow. So we've got to put commas in the right place and we got to put that and in the right place. We'll start each sentence with a capital letter. People's names, proper nouns are always capitalized. So if you named your monster, then you've got to capitalize his name. We're going to check for that. Also the word I, the pronoun I, standing for yourself is always capitalized. That's showing you that right there. So the example is today, Matt, proper noun, and I are playing. So we're gonna capitalize both. Pronouns are used correctly. We just got through last week le learning pronouns. We're gonna make sure we're using them correctly. And then of course, words are spelled correctly. I have my paper right here. And over here are our is our check sheet. So you can use this screen. You can pause in a minute, use this screen to answer these questions about your paper. The first thing we're going to do, does the paper have your name? So on my paper, I need to write my name. I just did that on mine. Does the first word of each sentence begin with a capital letter? So what you're going to do is find the beginning of every sentence. And you're going to take a green matte pencil or crayon. And I want you to circle every beginning of the sentence. I'll do mine and I'll show you. Now you can see I added my name and I circled the beginning of every sentence. Every sentence has a circle on the first letter. If I circle the first letter and it's not capitalized, I know I've made a mistake because the beginning of every sentence needs to be capitalized. So I'm going and I'm checking. All right, I think you're back. So now we're going to go and we're going to circle every time we use the word I, the pronoun I. So stop the video and I want you to circle every time you use the word I, not the letter I, the word I, and make sure it's capitalized. Stop the video and do that now. Yes. 
Did you find some I's that were not capitalized and fix them? That's what you're supposed to be doing. Now I want you to go find every proper noun, every name. For example, in mine, I've got Pookie and Ookie. Those are their names. So I'm going to go circle every proper noun and make sure it is capitalized. Stop and do that now. So let's see how we've done. We've put our name, we've put, we've circled the beginning of every sentence and make sure, made sure it was a capital. We've circled every pronoun I and made sure it was capitalized. And then we've circled all the proper nouns and made sure they were capitalized. Now, before we move on, I want to mention one thing. We probably should have done this yesterday when we revised, but Mrs. Trinka last week taught us all about onomatopoeia. We've got to surprise her and use onomatopoeia in our writing today. How's that for magic? Onomatopoeia is a word that sounds like the noise or action it's describing. So the jet zoomed across the sky. So if you hear a jet outside, it sounds like zoom. So that's why it's called onomatopoeia. The word sounds like the noise it's describing. So I actually used zoom in mine. So try to find right now a place where you can describe how your monster moves or sounds and use a word that sounds like the noise or action it's describing. Use onomatopoeia. Pause the video. What onomatopoeia did you add? I'm so excited to see. Now I want you to go find it and circle it in blue. You don't have to label it, but if you'll put a big blue circle around it, that will help me see it and also help you make sure it's there. So pause now and circle your onomatopoeia. Let's check off what we've done. Does the paper have a writer's name? Yes, it does now. Does the first word of each sentence begin with a capital letter? It does now. Does each sentence have a noun and a verb? Oh, this one's a good one. So what we're going to do now is start at every circle. That's why we circled. Then we're going to read until the ending of that sentence. We're going to check for subject verb agreement. We're going to check that it has a subject and a predicate, a noun and a verb, because without a noun and a verb, it's not a sentence. So, hi, my name is Pookie, and this is my brother, Uki. So, hi, my name is circled, and this is my brother, Uki subject and predicate. So now with a red crayon, matte pencil, we're going to circle the end of every sentence. So I can actually do here on the screen. I'll have to do it on my paper too, but I can do it on the screen. So this is a period right here. So I'm going to circle it. Then I'm going to go to the next sentence and read it. We, there's my subject, are roly polies. We are roly polies, subject and a verb. So I can now circle my period. What is, oh, what 
That's a question. So I can circle the question mark. Remember, those special characters, special sentences add interest to your writing. So I want you to do this to every sentence. If you find that you didn't put a period in the right spot, add a period. If you find that you had a period in the wrong spot because you didn't have a subject and a verb or a subject and a predicate, move that. So right now, check every sentence for a subject and a predicate and make sure you have the correct ending punctuation. Pause now. When you finish, you should have something that looks like this. Does your paper look like this? Where you have ended every sentence with a punctuation. Did you find that you were missing some? I hope so. This is where we catch that. So let's look over here. Does each sentence have a noun and a verb? Yes, we just checked that. Does each sentence end with proper punctuation? Yes, we just checked that. Now, speaking of punctuation, Remember in a list that we put commas between the adjectives. For example, my scarf is red, comma, orange, comma, and before the last one, yellow. So we need to look at that in our paper. Let me model that for you. We're going to do it in orange. So I'm going to get an orange. Now remember, you're going to be doing this on your paper. So here I say we are roly polies. I have two arms, comma. So I'm going to circle that. One giant eye in the middle of my head, comma. Two teeth, comma two green horns, comma, and I'm going to underline it, two stubby legs, period. So every time I have a list, I'm going to go make sure that I have commas between my adjectives and the word and in front of the last one. Pause and go check your paper now. We're on the last thing. Are all our words spelled correctly? Now, I'm not going to teach you dictionary skills right now. We've worked so hard on this paper. So what I want you to do is make sure that you have phonetically spelled. If your parents want to check it and change a couple of words for you, that's fine. I am not going to hold you to every single word spelling spelled correctly. If you will make sure that someone reading your paper can sound out your words, you have done it with phonics, you have written the words with phonics and they are phonetically correct, I'll be happy. So go back right now and change the words that you need to change. That's it, second grade. We have edited our paper. Our paper probably looks like a big mess, but that's okay because that shows that we checked our work and we edited. So you're going to go to page seven. You're going to use the camera. You're going to take a picture of your paper and load it on page seven so we can see how hard you've worked. And tomorrow is the last day. Woohoo! We will have an excellent descriptive essay when we finish tomorrow. See you then.